Hi everyone, John here with Fountain Pen Love, and today I want to talk about fountain pen storage solutions. Now I'm not talking about the ones that you can keep your pens in at home, that's a completely different topic. Uh, today I want to talk about something that you could throw your pens in while you're traveling, either going to the coffee shop or maybe on a trip. So let's dive in and talk about fountain pen storage. Now the first things I want to talk about are just some of these uh, softer storage options. Uh, these are made by Rickshaw Bags out in San Francisco. Uh, just a short disclaimer, they have given me some stuff for free before to review, but I think they're great products regardless of that. So, uh, they make a few different things. Uh, the most basic is going to be just their pin uh, sleeves. And what you can do, you just take a fountain pen, you can, um, this one has uh, room for two of them. You can slip it in here and there you go, it's not gonna fall out, fits in there nice and tight. Even if you have a shorter one, uh, they do make different sizes. You can definitely put a shorter pin in here and it's still gonna hold just fine. Squeeze the bottom and it pops right out. Um, the single sleeves are the exact same thing, same idea. They hold pins really well. So the nice thing about these, they really just protect your pin from getting scratched up. So regardless of if it's rickshaw or someone else, maybe just a felt one, a homemade one, uh, one that you buy at a pin show from a different manufacturer. Um, it's really just like a little sleeve that keeps your pin safe, keeps it from getting banged up and scratched up. Also uh, makes it easier to find. So if uh, you have a little pin like this, it's not gonna get lost in your bag nearly as easily. So uh, there's these options that come, you know, one, two, three different pins that they'll hold. This is a similar uh, case, but not exactly the same. This is, I think, what he calls a pin koozie. And the pin slide in here, you can access them a little bit easier. Um, but again, they hold really tight in there. They're not gonna fall out and uh, still very well protected. Uh, squeeze from the bottom, you can just kind of squeeze them out like, uh, I don't know, like some food or something, I suppose. And great job at padding uh, your pins in the case there. Another option that they have, uh, Rickshaw does this, it's called, uh, it's just a pin roll. You can also get something similar from uh, Knock, where it basically rolls up and fits inside of a pouch. But what this is, this is just a, um, a roll. I'm just gonna put a couple of pins in here to show you. Again, you can put um, you know, large pins, small pins. The nice thing about this, this is a Mont Blanc 149. Very big pin, still fits in here really well. You can see that. Um, flip the top over, roll this up like this. And this is just for this particular uh, pin roll. They're all gonna work a little bit differently. And there you have a nicely protected um, pin burrito, basically. It just, uh, or sleeping bag, it just kind of holds your pins in here. Uh, you can tighten this up if you want to make sure it's nice and tight. But because of that flap on the inside that folds over, get this open to show you, um, when it's rolled up, there's no way your pins are going to fall out because this holds it in here. Whereas this one doesn't have that flap, much quicker access, much easier access. Uh, but if you're worried about your pins possibly falling out or getting uh, scratched on the top, then maybe a flap is good for you. Now the next thing I want to talk about are more sturdy pin storage solutions. Now these soft ones are great for protecting the surface of your pin and uh, you know a little bit of protection against minor bangs against a table or something like that. But these uh, leather and uh, faux leather storage options are going to be a little sturdier not quite as uh, flexible and have a little more padding and uh, rigid features that will offer better protection for your pins. So let's talk about those now. They definitely come in lots of different sizes. You can see this is a three pin solution here. Um, and I also have some of these larger ones that will hold up to 48 pins. They come, some of them hold 96 pins, I think. Uh, and maybe even bigger than that, I'm not sure. So there's lots of different options for cases like this, it really depends on how many pins you want to carry with you at any given time and how many you have. So uh, let's start off with some of these um, smaller ones. The one thing I do want to point out, because these are more rigid, because they typically have a zipper that closes, you can only fit particular sizes of pins or there's a limit to the size of pin you can fit in here. So 
Whereas something like this, you know, a short one's gonna fit in here fine. And even, uh, let's see, this really tall pin that I have is still gonna fit, might stick out at the top a little bit. You're not gonna have an issue closing it because it doesn't actually close. Whereas with these, they have zippers on them, so you can't, there's just some sizes that won't fit. So in this particular one, it also has these uh, fairly rigid leather sleeves. And so a really big pin like this uh, Heinz Americana, um, I mean, that's about as far as I can squeeze it in, which does not work. So uh, you have to be careful, I can get this out, you have to be careful with what types of pins you want to put in. And I always recommend to test the pin case first. But for normal size pins, uh, you know, here we have a Lamy All Star, fits in there just fine. You can be able to zip it up and um, carry three pins with you. This is my go-to whenever I go uh, traveling somewhere and just want to grab a couple of pins. This is typically the case I bring with me. I also like it because it has a little extra room in here. I can throw some ink files, I can throw uh, a converter, I can throw a, a clean cloth, whatever I need. And it's all kind of this nice little self-contained packet of pin fun. Um, just pull the pins out and you're ready to go. Um, now, there's another one. I picked this up at a pin show um, two years ago, I think. And I really like the look of it. It's, I think, kind of meant to imitate. There's a Franklin Christoph uh, pin case like this, pin folio, I guess, that is uh, really popular. Works really, really well. Uh, this one is similar, but has one major problem, and I never use it because of it. The, it, it's made to hold, I think, 12 pins, and the placement of these versus where the top folds over, lots of pins don't fit in here. So uh, we've got uh, Lamy All Star. And I'll just see if I can make this work here for you. Closes just fine. Uh, Pelican M200 goes in, closes just fine. Let's see about an M800. That's gonna work too. And you'll notice all of these have pretty much, um, the clip goes right up to the top of the pin. If we get something like, um, well, let's just do the signs because it's a massive pin. I can already tell you, you see, that doesn't actually close. I, there's no way I can actually close this up here because this top of the pin is sticking out. And I've run into this issue with lots of smaller pins as well. This Mont Blanc, definitely not gonna work. Oh, actually, well, it closes, but it doesn't really latch. So um, I can't actually get the magnetic closure to latch because this is sticking up too high. And you'd be surprised at how many pins you run into this issue with. So my suggestion, again, this isn't something that I tested it out or I tested beforehand. Um, you know, have some pins with you when you buy a pin case or read some reviews. I'm sure if there's pins that don't fit, people are gonna say so. I really like the look of this. I really like the idea of it but because a bunch of my pins don't fit in it, I just don't use it. Uh, one other thing with a smaller pin, you know, it's gonna fit in here, but if I push it down in here, it's kind of difficult to get out. I have to reach down inside here and pull it out. So uh, depending on what size of pin you use, something like this may or may not work well for you, but always test it out beforehand. That's the best advice I have. Now, the same company also makes, and this is uh, Girologio, I think that's how you say it. Um, they make this uh, 12 pin case, I think. And I really like this. I use it all the time. Uh, my pins fit much better in it. So let's take these same pins that did not fit in their other one. And this Heinz pin, which is massive, uh, it does fit in here just fine. I am able to completely zip it up. And there we go. I have a nice protected pin. And I can fit 11 more pins in here as well. Uh, one thing about pin cases, you do want to make sure they have some sort of dividing uh, piece of fabric or divider in here so that when you close uh, these two sides together, your pins don't knock against each other. You want to have some sort of protection to protect your pins from just rubbing together as you uh, transport them around. So again, you know, massive pin fits in here just fine. Small pin fits in here, <clears throat> excuse me, as well and it's really easy to remove because it's just right there in front of you. So I don't have any problem getting this pin out or this pin out, either one. I just pull and it comes right out, it's super easy. So that's a 12 pin case. Uh, this is a nice, a, a very nice size, I think. It's not too many pins. Uh, it's enough to hold whatever you have inked up probably. Um, 
some people probably not, but most people it's going to be um, a great way to just keep your pins. This is what I have on my tabletop at home so that I can just uh, keep my pins in here. They're not scattered all over the place and it's a really just nice organizing tool for that I can grab and take with me anywhere I want to go. Next up we have some of these larger storage options and um, these are basically what I keep my pins in at home. I don't have a dedicated pin case or any kind of chest or storage option. Uh, I have these smaller uh, pin binders I guess. Uh, these hold 24, these hold 48 I'm pretty sure and again like I said they do make larger ones if you need them or want them but this is my pen storage solution. I'm gonna currently be working on something else, which I'll hopefully show you soon. But for now, and for the past 10 years or so, this is what I keep my pens in at home. Uh, so you can see they're the exact same thing as these smaller ones. They just hold more pens. Again, has this nice flap in the middle here. And um, you know, it's a really nice way to keep your pens at home. I, a, a lot of people will bring this out with them as well. If they wanna bring 24 pens with them to a coffee shop or to a pen meet or a pen show or anything like that uh, this is a great option now i will say there are varying qualities of lots of these cases so my best suggestion in addition to making sure your pins fit is trying them out beforehand or getting your hands on them because i'll be honest i bought this one um i think on ebay years and years ago and i absolutely love it i would love to find another one like this and i can't I'm, i've looked i don't know what it is it's not branded but i love it because it's it's very sturdy like when i when you hold it you can feel it's a really high quality um pin case there's good padding in the top and bottom the um, reinforcement in each side it's it's really stiff so i don't have any kind of bending going on here it's not going to protect your pins from getting crushed if you run over with a car or if you sit on it, you're still gonna have a bad day. But in general, it feels very high quality and it is very high quality. Now, if you compare that with something like this, uh, this is another one I just randomly bought, sight unseen, probably on eBay. And uh, it's got a snap, which is not a big deal. This is zipper, this is snap. But the uh, if you can see that, the leather on the inside, if it's even leather, I don't think it's real. It's all cracked and falling apart in here and uh, I keep my pencils in here. Yeah, this one does uh, have a strange smell because I kept my pencils in here, um, hopefully, or hoping that they wouldn't get damaged. I didn't want to put any kind of valuable pens in here. So, um, you know, the quality of this one is severely lacking compared to this one here, but I still found a use for it. Um, you know, it's not one that is, it's not a showpiece, it's not attractive, but it works. It keeps uh, all my old, um, sterling silver and gold plated and these metal pencils from banging around keeps them nice and safe right in here i also don't take it anywhere so i don't need it to be the most sturdy thing around um, this is a larger version of this pin case that came together and again it's very well made this is one of my esterbrook uh, cases and you can see in here you know it looks great it makes a nice presentation uh, nice display and also it's very uh, convenient and sturdy storage has this nice flap in here that protects the pins so they don't touch each other and again it's a very sturdy pin case now compare that to this one um, I love this one so much I love this one so much I wanted to find another one took a chance on this one and it is not nearly as high of quality um, I don't know if you can see you really can't but I mean you can just see how flexible that is. It's a very flimsy feeling pin case. The inside isn't as nice. The outside isn't as nice. If you held these two, you would definitely feel the difference and see the difference uh, pretty much immediately. But again, this is also a pin case. Um, holds the same number of pins. I think it's 48 as this larger one down here. More Estabrooks, of course. But um, just not as high of quality as these other two are. So that's another thing, if you find one that you really like, I would suggest buying a couple of them because chances are uh, down the road you'll either forget who made it, forget where you got it, or they won't be available anymore and you'll be sad like me. But I have these, I love them, and I use them, and um, yeah, 
I'm always on the lookout for a new one that's going to fit my needs really well. So that's going to do it for today. I just wanted to give you a quick and brief overview of what's available as far as pin cases go for taking your pins out and about outside of your house. Now, they do make different storage options for um, long-term storage at home, whether it's a pin tray, a pin case, something like that. Like I said, I've been using these with no ill effects, but I have heard some people um, have had issues with older pins, hard rubber pins, different things like that, where um, when a pin is stored in here uh, in a case for a long amount of time, this material can press up against the surface of the pin and sometimes leave a bit of an impression. I haven't experienced that, but I have heard of people that have, so be forewarned about that. Regardless though, if you wanna take pins with you, um, a small case like this, just a pin sleeve, uh, maybe a pin koozie or pin roll, whether it's this nice fabric plush material, whether it's nylon, uh, if you want to have a case, whether it's real leather, fake leather, regardless of what material you choose or what format you choose, the main goal is to protect your pins, make sure they're safe, make sure they don't get damaged while they're outside of the safe confines of your home. So choose wisely, make sure you test it out beforehand, Make sure your pins fit, that you like the material, the way it feels, and overall, um, keep your pins safe. Happy writing.